Bam, bam, da 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 da, bam, bam, da. Hello, I'm doing an intro. Christine's driving us to IKEA. <laughs> I was gonna keep it a surprise, but <laughs> we're going to IKEA, not to buy furniture. We were. We were gonna buy furniture, but, but of course the supply chains are a mess, and the thing that we needed, aka bookshelves. <laughs> Are um are done. Like, you know, they're gone. They're not here. They're not in stock. So the whole reason we're going to IKEA is Rachel's mastermind, you know. She was like, What wouldn't it be funny if you read Horror Store by Grady Hendrix Hendrix in IKEA? And I was like, <laughs> Why are you a genius? Why are you a genius? So we're going to attempt that today. We'll see what happens, you know. I'm going to return a book. She's also going to go to the bookstore. But I will be reading. So here we go. found a quiet spot quiet I used to work quiet in quotes because um, yeah I'm in the middle of Ikea so I'm reading horror store and um, yeah people who don't know horror store is about a group of employees that have to work an overnight shift in a Ikea I think it's called Orsk and then they have to figure out why all their stuff keeps getting like stolen, uh, vandalized. They're trying to figure out the mystery, but I think there's like a psychological twist. So we will see. I'm going to be reading. My phone is dying, so we'll see how much clips you get of me in here. But I want you guys to know that I'm here and I'm reading for Sword and Ikea because no one's asked for it, but I'm doing it. All right. I know this book is about to be wild because I'm in chapter four and we've already started the terror, okay? <laughs> like, I thought, you know, I was like, oh, this looks like it's gonna be a quick read. You know, nothing too wild is gonna happen, and Grady has us in in it already in the beginning. Okay, so <sighs> I don't know what is going to happen here. I don't know what is gonna happen here. Oh, also, Venus joined me. Hello. This Burbank has failed us. Burbank sucks, and I'll say it. Have fun on the journey home. I'm about to go buy some more stuff. 
I think I might order some meatball. Is it the kitchen's open? I'm sure it is. Consumerism. Capitalism. Ikea. Yes. Oh snap! What is that behind me? Are these bookshelves? Yes. Yes, they are. But I'm not talking about bookshelves right now. I'm talking about horror store, y'all. When I say this book went off the rails, I don't know what's going on. First of all, I used to do this thing where I said, where I say like, you know, when a, when a situation is just so absurd or so crazy or I'm just, you know, being a little dramatic, a little extra, I would say like, I would take out my eyeballs, you know, it seems a little graphic, but I would take my eyeballs out and then I would like look at myself look at the situation, look at myself, you know, it's just something very absurd, I would say. I um, don't think I'm going to use that phrase anymore for a while, um, because the scene in this book, that kind of does the same thing, but a little more, a little more fatal. I'm like, uh, <laughs> it's just, this book is so wild. I don't I didn't really know what to expect going in I thought it was going to be more I, I haven't got to the end I got like I have this much left but I really thought I had an idea of what this was going to be going in and it is not that it is not that like even the furniture I started noticing that the furniture is different the furniture is crazy I'm like, I said, do they sell this at Ikea? Do they sell something at Ikea? And I'm like, no, this is at Orsk. Only at Orsk will they sell. Anyway, I'm just, it's just getting a little wild. And uh, yeah, I'll be back with my closing thoughts. But good grief. Also, another thing, why am I always the one simping for a little romance? It's not even a romance book. And I'm just like, oh, what? What's happening? You know, there's like even like a hint, like the possibility. I'm simping. I'm squealing. I, I don't know what that says about me, but, you know. <laughs> So that concludes the vlog. Um, I have completed Horror Store by Grady Hendrix. Read mostly in Ikea and the rest here in front of my Ikea shelves. Now, this is like a slight reveal. Actually, it's a full reveal. Here. So I've read Grady Hendrix and I liked it. It was pretty good. I don't think I was really in love with the ending. So for those who have read it, you know, come talk to me. See how you guys felt about the end. But so I'm giving it four stars. It was a fun time. It was crazy. And it's very like the, like his imagination, like his mind. How does he think of these ideas? I'm impressed. Definitely pick it up if you're a fan of Grady Hendrix. It's fun. And the book itself is really cool because it looks like an Ikea catalog. So I know y'all know, but it was fun. All right, until next time, don't forget to like this. Give us a comment, your thoughts about the book. Thumbs up and subscribe.